What's going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shakes72 coming at you guys with a video. Um, holy shit, it's the Redskins' first divisional game Sunday at 1 o'clock. Um, <clears throat> man, am I excited about this game? I literally have been sitting here thinking about it and to the point where this fucking team, saying the Eagles, this team should be so fucking pissed off. So pissed off. And wanting to kill this fucking team with a passion at their home field in FedEx Field. I don't know. I know what they have to do to win. I know they got to pressure, you know, Kirk Cousins and get him on his fucking ass. Because that's what's going to win the game. Jordan Reed, tight end. Very athletic. Probably one of the best tight ends I've ever seen play in this league so far. Um, is not playing today. He is, uh, he just got evaluated yesterday with a concussion and, um, will not be playing. So they will be out, they will, they will be without Jordan Reed. Um, and I'm kind of happy because, I, not like it's going to fucking matter, but Michael Kendricks wouldn't be able to fucking cover his ass anyway. So let's just put it that way. Um... The defense line get to Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins got to get pressured. He, pa he panics. He's very fucking frail in the pocket. Um, makes panic move throws. Throws him out of bounds when he wants. Let's see. Makes uh, panic room throws. <clears throat> and then um, that's really it. I mean, you got Pierre Gar Garçon and Deshaun Jackson. Um... Deshaun Jackson, um, I think, is going to, I don't know, definitely make some catches. Because um, Nolan Carroll and McKelvin can't fucking cover anything. I mean, I don't think really highly of Nolan Carroll. I think he can cover average receivers. I don't think he can cover top receivers. Um, McKelvin, he's just, I don't know what he can do because he's fucking hurt. And I can't tell if he's 100% or he's just sucking that bad. One or the other. Um, yeah, it's been like that. This deep, um, and really, there's not much else to explain this in the specifics, but they just got to go play football. That's it. They got to go play football. They got to wreck this fucking team. They got to wreck this fucking team because the past three years they've been beat by this fucking team. <coughs> and, um, yeah, it's a fucking pain in the ass. And this should be out for a vengeance. They should be out for a fucking vengeance. I don't care what. Um, or how they fucking do it, but it's, it's gotta get done. It's gotta get done. They can't be, um, they can't be friggin', we can't be sitting back playing, we can't be playing defense all fucking night, all day, I mean. So, um, these receivers gotta get open. Josh Norman's gonna be out there, but I don't make it a big deal because... We got tight ends to throw to and other receivers to throw to. And we got Darren Sproles either in the slot, in the backfield. That's it. Less the amount of carries for Ryan Matthews because... Or give the ball to him. Maybe he's pissed off. Give the ball to him. Just don't give it to him that much. Because I don't know what he's going to be doing. Don't give the ball to him that much. I wouldn't give the ball to him that much this week. Um... Because the run game should work against the Redskins. Their run defense is ranked really horrible. So, I am not... Um, I think it's like 26th or 27th. It's really bad. Um, but that's really it. Kirk Cousins and the, and the Redskins have not really... Um, they faced the Browns, barely won that game. They won by maybe 11 points. But that was because the fucking Browns fumbled on their two drives... Um, shit. Baltimore, it was just a fucking close. It was a penalty match. They called it the fucking penalty match. Um, and the Giants. And they barely fucking beat the Giants. With fucking luck, they just got past them. So really, our defense should fucking whoop their ass. And this offense should come out on fire and do some shit. So, um... I'm excited for it, and, oh, man, I hope we do well. I hope we do really well. I'm praying on it. Um, just let you guys know every week, guys, I'm going to be 
um, doing a podcast pretty much every, probably every week with uh, Fry Guy Eagles. He's uh, um, F R Y E A G L E A G L E S. Fucking, I'm half tired. Space, uh, yeah, it's Fry Guy Space Eagles. So um, I'm gonna up, I'm gonna put the this, uh, the the URL. The, I'm gonna put the link in the comment section in the description below. Um, so you can watch the video. We do a review on the Hate Week uh, Redskins Eagles. Um, this week, um, trying to upload some, uh, trying to do that, um, from, do, was doing it from his side, because I didn't, my phone couldn't find the, uh, um, I couldn't record the screen on my app, so my voice is kind of like, it's not like not, it's not not clear, I mean, you could hear me, and you could hear what I'm saying, but, um, that's about it, but, uh, I'll keep that, uh, check that video out down there, subscribe to me, subscribe to him, um, we'd really appreciate it. Um, but these guys gotta go out and play fucking football, okay? They gotta go out and play football. They gotta show everybody what they're fucking made of, and literally, we gotta go just go play fucking football and stop being little bitches. That's all. That's all. Because honestly, from what happened last week, enough with the penalties. Lane Johnson suspended now for ten games. He ain't gonna come back till what week? December what twenty second? Week sixteen? And then. Halapuli Vitae, the new right tackle that we're getting, is coming in. He better play fucking good. He better be prepared. I know he's a rookie, but dude, if this, this guy's gonna be a future right tackle, left tackle for us, I'm happy with it. And we could do it that way. But this guy better fucking block, do his shit, protect fucking Arson Wentz in the damn pocket, and that's it, and we'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm not. Not worried about it because we. Uh, this is an important game. First division game. Division games are not like normal games. Division games are fucking. Are, they're they're crazy, man. They're they're fucking. Even at the stadiums, they're fucking nuts. Even though they're still crazy either way, but they're more fucking crazy. It's the different. It's just a different atmosphere, and it's it's just a hateful fucking game. And that's it. I can't wait. I'm really excited. So, um, I will come out and get you guys with a video tomorrow. I just want to make my preview video now. I meant to want to go make it yesterday, but I was so fucking tired. I haven't been to work all week. Um, just chilling out. So, all right, guys. Subscribe, comment, love you guys. Peace out. Go, birds.